we wear a mask we we wear masks it's very big in in our uh, tribal cultures if you go back in the history of various tribes you find masks and we we carry the mask we carry it in our head and we try to do have the demeanor of the mask and of the image Well, we don't even see our own face. We see images. But those images, where are they? So it's up to you to you have to live outside of your conditioning. You have to let the let it go. Trust letting it go. Let it go. Be like a childlike, innocent, fresh fresh presence you know. no not any particular agenda you know like we are now so so beautiful simplicity the simplicity of being you know you, you can live like that and uh, when something triggers you let it go let yourself go. You know, your ideas, your feelings, all what you you're maintaining. Your participation. Let go of your participation. <clears throat> the thoughts they're arising in infinite space. Like this these words arising in space. The space has no borders. Let them be alone, let them be of their own, let them, you can watch them dissolve, I mean, they all dissolve. You can watch them dissolve, it's, it's interesting to see like what in the past seemed to be such a major structure. Oh my God, you know, they used to drive me crazy. You could watch it like, wow, <laughs> this is nothing. Of course, you, there will be some feelings, some emotions, but you don't touch them. You just the same thing. You let them be. <laughs> let them be. So what? I mean, to feel some things, pinch or whatever you call it. So what? You want some big deal about it? We have to add to it our self judgment. You know, we do that. We say, oh, I shouldn't have. Why do that? You know, I have to fix myself. <laughs> we now we have an impossible job. We have to fix the fix, fictitious me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's job security. <laughs> job security. Where do you come up with these things? Job security. Yes, it's, it's, <laughs> gives you job. Gives you the job. job. Uh, yeah, it gives you the job. <laughs> <coughs> Anyways, if you, do you have any questions that you were thinking about? Matthew, when you're talking about us <coughs> letting go, yes. Um, one thing that I was reflecting on for me recently is like, um, I get I get PMS 
Yes. So I have ample opportunity for yes. letting go yes. Um, yes. during that time. Yes. And um, like one thing I'll notice is that it seems like I'll do, I'll let go and let go and let go. But then I think I must not be letting go all the way because I feel like some like re residue is building up mm -hmm. so that at a certain point something happens and then I'm even like more frustrated. Yes. Um, so I, how do you um, how do you fully let yeah. go? You know when the when the residue uh, arises, and you feel more frustrated, you let go of that more frustration. Mm -hmm. It's always a letting go. There is no end to letting go. There isn't like one letting go. It's just now there is, you know, the th the what is arising is always arising freshly in this moment. This moment is. Actually, eternity, the eternity of being. Whatever is arising, let me just use the word this moment or now. Whatever is arising is arising now. And then the mind says, or thought arises, says, I've been letting go, letting go, letting go, letting go, and it's building up. That's a story. That's thought. A story meaning it's just thought. You know, the thought says, I've been letting go, I've been letting go. Thought doesn't know anything. Thought, it, thought is something that you observe, that you see. You could say that thought is a cosmic download. It's a vibration happening 758 billion light years away in the universe. And this vibration appears as thought. Yeah? You just you perceive it. Why you perceive it? Because you are this aware presence. You are that. Everything it appears to you. So this whole notion that I've been trying and trying and I've been releasing, letting go, letting go, letting go, letting go, letting go, that's thought. In fact, there's just this, this letting go right now. There's just this letting go. There isn't a previous letting go or a later letting go. Right? So, say in this moment the thought arises, I've been letting go, letting go, letting go, and now it's building up and now it's, what do I do with that? Let it go. Letting go, let it go means you can feel it, you can let it be, you can experience it. It's not going to kill you. If it's going to kill you, kill me. Well, well, I'm, 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 kill me, because what I am is immortal. Whatever is going to be killed is going to be the bullshit. You know, that's come, that, I'm welcome. They can go. You want to kill it? Kill it. Come and kill it. I'm available for any of you to come and kill my BS. You know, I'm, no problem. I would welcome you for that. I would offer you tea and cookies and whatever to do that. Not a problem. You see? So you with yourself, same thing. You tell yourself, okay, I'm, I'm available for whatever it is that is going to kill me, kill me. You see? Because what you are is the invisible, invisible infinite being. And that is not <coughs> something you can cut with a knife or uh, with a scissor or burn it with a fire or or tear it, you know, you could pinch the body, the leg, the arm, whatever, but awareness, presence, consciousness, you know, it's, it's beyond that, it's not in that realm. So, in letting go is, you, you're open, you don't know, it's just, okay, I'm, we don't argue with it, we're not trying to, oh, gee, it's got to be improving, well, how come it's not improving? That's a thought. It's just a story. It's not improving or not improving. All that is nonsense. There is no such thing as improving. It's not improving. There is freedom, joy, or not. Okay? There is the bliss of the self, or... <sighs> yeah? Yes, yeah, see? It's, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's, there's no improvement or not improving. Either you're present and awake, or you're... You know, I'm getting better. <laughs> You're getting better. Okay. So be available in your completeness, in your wholeness, in your, to in your totality, which already is what you are. You already are that. So, anyway, you're saying, you're saying yes. It's easier to say yes than no, because if you say no, then you have to uh, build uh, some uh, reinforcements, you know. Because you don't know if what's coming at you is, is stronger than you know. You see, you don't know. But if you say yes, well, oh, yes. You say yes. And what's very beautiful is that you will realize in time 
maybe not in time, maybe you realize immediately that you're, you're invulnerable. You're not touched by that. You're not touched by that. There is magic, magic in the air. You know that? <coughs> it's magic. It's magic in the air. I think it's, in, it's a song, right? There's magic in the air. There is magic. Consciousness is magic. perception you know, is, is you know it's magic in the awareness it's not magic it's it's big time magic you know? so it's magic in the air so I would go with the magician I would say yeah to the magic so yeah magic I'm I'm on board with the magic I'm on board with magic I'm not on board with you know the story and this and that and you know no, that's all that is download. There is some, and and in and we all share this download in our culture, in our society, in our teaching, in our uh, gossip, in our. Uh, it's ninety percent of our of the time, maybe in our life. I mean, I'm exaggerating. Maybe sixty percent is a lot of nonsense. But we can change that. We don't need to. Do not sixty percent nonsense. We can do a hundred percent presence, hundred percent presence, <coughs> and it's so it's so beautiful because it's there available to you. It's like you know you don't need to open the faucet. The source is there. The source means the light of being. The light of being. Yeah. So I'm looking at. Seeing that that there's no eyes and things, bodies and things, but that's just a phenomenon. But it's not an eye. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. In fact, it's kind of a ridiculous situation. Yes. Yeah. We add yeah. we add uh, a download of what's happening to me. Yes. That's it. But we don't need to do that. We can just notice this download because we all have it. We're we're wired this way. But we can notice it and not buy into it. Not believe that the download knows something about us. The download meaning the thought, that it knows anything. Thought is unknowing. <laughs> Knowingness belongs to the self. And that's not thought, that's awareness, that's wisdom, wisdom. You can say wisdom or intelligence. I'm not talking about IQ, you know. Uh, they do those IQ tests. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about intelligence in the bigger term, you know, intelligence, cosmic intelligence, you could say. You know, you know, the, the unborn intelligence, not the intelligence that's born out of, we learned, you know, we, we, we learned to be intelligent. That's something else. Yeah, it's very beautiful that you have something to work on because it's a gift. You know, we all have our gifts, you know, we call them our hardships or our conditions, but they are gifts. And I just see that in, in, in the perception that there's nothing to struggle with. There's, there's, we know there's, well, that's there. Well, that's yes. not a big surprise. Yes. There it is. Yes. Right, right. It's yeah. Like, I don't have to, it's, I'm going to change it. I'm yeah. struggle with it. It shouldn't be there. I wish it yeah. would be something. It's, it's arising space. in the space. Yeah. In right. the space. Right, right. Because I, I, awareness is infinite space. You could, you know, using that term, it's not like physical space. It's the space of awareness, space-like quality of awareness. It's arising in the space. Who cares? So does, uh, so does the sunset. And, you know, with each other, we can be careful how we are with each other, how we interact with each other. To, to be a little bit more quiet in our being. And to, you know, it's not about like you have to do it or else. You know, you do your best to bring into your relationship that listening space. First, the listening has to be within oneself. So there's a space within yourself where things can arise for you. <clears throat> they can even be waves without uh, you, you being like a cork on top of the, of the wave. Things can arise, but there is no cork. So, because there is a space. 
for that to appear. You give yourself the space for whatever is arising to arise. Yes? So then it doesn't have to be something that is crowding you, that you have to do something about to fix it. It don't, doesn't have to be. It's just an arising. Yes? So it's an arising. You find yourself just Rest, resting, restful, watching this arising, feeling this arising, okay, you've sensed it before, you felt it before, and you know now, you know now, that if you touch it, you try to fix it, you're going to get your hands dirty, and then you have to find where you're going to wash my hands, and now it's, and I have to wash some more, etc. You don't need to touch it, what for? You know that touching it is like touching a ghost, there is a ghost, it's a ghost. You're going to be trying to slay the ghost. You get the chains, you get the hell, whatever you want. It's haunting you. Haunting you. You see? But it seems to be real for you. But no, no, it's real. I have to do something, it's real. But in time you realize, no, it's not real. It is just this, this conditioning, this download. And this habit, we have habits. We have ha bad habits. So we have a bad habit from that. And we have some bad habits. <laughs> we have to recognize that. You know, you can notice. I, I don't know what your bad habits are, but we have bad habits. You notice them within yourself. Say, oh, it's my bad habit again. Okay? You, I don't mean judging yourself. You recognize it. You say, okay, <clears throat> I can try something else. I can try not to live, not to take it to the next step. I see what it is. Something or other, even if I don't feel like I can see it that way, or do something. But that can be often it's complete or illusion. Yeah. I don't know if I can do something or not. Yeah. And if something arises, I have an insight that somehow some sort of change is feasible, then that's fine. But struggling with it, you know, it's just yeah. perpetuating. Yes. The, the, the best doing is a non do non doing. Yeah, I, I see that. I see that really clearly. Don't start with the assumption, I don't know how to fix this problem. Yes. I probably don't. Yes. <laughs> Maybe yes. I do, but I don't know yes. that. You see, the sky knows nothing about the clouds. Right? It's the best not doing, non doing. It's not do it's not doing something to the clouds or doing something to the planets or to the galaxies, the space. It's just being. The transparency of being is so simple. It's so simple. Simple. Our true nature is very, very simple. You know, when we were kids, we used to go to the beach and play with the sand, and we will see the little crystals of sand, and we were fascinated by them. You know. Now we walk by, we're waiting to find this most beautiful shell, you know, or something has to appear to us. We don't even notice the simple things, the beauty of them. But when we take a little time and relax and so on, we start to enjoy. We look at our companion, we see their hand, we just, oh my God, you're beautiful, your hand is so beautiful. <laughs> you know? <laughs> No labor. You're not suggesting there's any of these little pieces of some, and one moment you say it's black and white, you are yes. this thing or not. And yes. It still takes effort. Somehow, I mean, the passion you're talking about, talk yes. about it, it's the base of the business. You Where know, is the, what do you do with the desire to play? Or yeah. are you, you, and, uh, you, you, you come. You're striving for a different life. You're striving for some understanding of yes. what you see. We, we may start we start with with this strive and we see that we we want to improve we we, are, we feel and we sense that there is something that we can we need to work on uh, and so there is like some sort of effort but soon when we come to sit together we realize that we're just enjoying relaxing enjoying being together, enjoying, talking about 
what is obvious to us, which is peace, love, beauty, awareness. It's not so complicated. We find that we're just enjoying the company, enjoying the conversation. It shifts from the initial, you know, striving to just enjoying, enjoyment. I like to, I sometimes use, to use the term truth lovers, that we start by being seekers, and then we become truth lovers. And then our path, our life becomes a living, loving, living truth. Loving or living, loving truth. Loving, living truth. So, in effort, in effort, there usually is like there is a little push, push, pull. You know, a little some something that we don't want to do that we think, oh, we should do it. That's the, the effort. We just trying, we determine we're sort of, you know, putting our elbows in. Up and we're gonna do it. And there is a in the body is some contraction with effort. effort. While with love is more open. We love truth. I mean we all love truth and we know that there is confusion in our life. What's the big deal? You look out, you look, you know, turn the, the TV on or just walk out in the street, you see, oh my God, how much confusion there is in the world. Okay? So, but we also know that there is beauty. We know it within ourselves. We know that there is beauty, love, there is, there is that. Yeah? So we know that. So we are drawn, in, not all of us, but some of us are drawn to contemplate, to, to explore, let's say, to inquire, to investigate in that direction. Okay? We are drawn. When we are drawn, <laughs> already, it's, you're, already there is a pull. And in a way, you are, you're maybe a little resistance, but if the pull is strong enough, you find yourself going with the pull. You're just being pulled. You're being called, being called. You're being drawn by something within you that's drawing you. You see. So I would say, as a rule of thumb, if you feel that there is effort, I would pause. I would look at that. I would take a second look at the effort. Because it feeds a certain internal contraction within you, somewhere, somehow. You can find it within yourself. If you, you know, maybe not immediately, but you will find it. And then you, if you can find a way to relax it, to, to work some other way around it, so you don't um, fortify it. Now, you know, I've done, I think I said that to people in the past have done years of efforting uh, seven day silent retreats you don't move like Zen, uh, Japanese Zen style yes <clears throat> but I wanted to do it I, I felt I, could, I cannot explain it to you how I don't know I didn't even know anything about Zen when I first heard the word Zen what, what is that <laughs> I have no idea what is that. But I went and I saw people sitting and I sat and it was excruciating. The pain in my knee, in my back was really excruciating. They sit for 45 minutes, they don't move. And it was like local, very, very crazy. But I did it. I somehow felt that's what I wanted to do. It was an internal calling. So yes, you could say there was effort. But for years I would wake up at five o'clock in the morning and I do my sitting. <clears throat> it came from within me, within me, from God, you could say. It came from the universe. It came from whatever. It doesn't matter, you, know, you see. So if you feel drawn to do that and it, 
even if you want to call it effort, it doesn't matter if you call it effort. If you feel drawn, then you do it. Like musicians, for example. You know, goodness, uh, I know this guy, is, I used to know him, plays saxophone. <coughs> hours! Yeah, <laughs> hours every day. And he was like a very great saxophonist, but you know, the note, he's trying to hit the note. He, wants, he said he always talked about the note, the note. Yeah, I said, okay. You know, for me it sounded good, <laughs> but for him, it, it, yeah, he had to find that note, whatever. And play, 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 play. So, was, now, you, you look within yourself. If you feel that it is coming out of an inner calling that has some loving quality to it, like not that if I don't do that, something awful is going to happen to me. I must do that or else, you know, like a sense of danger or risk. No. A sense of love and passion. I love it. I don't know what I, why I love it. I don't need to explain it to anybody. I just love it. Okay, it's tough. It's difficult. I have to do this and that and that and that. Do it. I have to spend this sort of money. I have to travel, whatever it is. But that's, that's what I want to do. As long as within you, there is happiness. Like, look at those uh, 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 rocky climbers. You know, the, the things that they do, in, I mean, effort, it looked like effort to me. Oh, <laughs> so, so, okay, so I don't need, I'm singing to the choir. <laughs> so, yes, if there is that, that passion within you, that's very important. Remain true to that light that is a loving light within you.